Okay, so we had this section. Okay, so we had an, a model, concierge, and an architect. They couldn't upload the audio for me, so I only have the transcripts. I will try to read it at what is a normal speed for me. Okay? All right, so number one. First, I want to thank your teacher, Miss Press, for letting me talk to you today about being a model. Now, there are different types of models. For example, there are fashion models and print models and many types of modeling. You need to have clear skin, healthy hair. You have to look healthy, but you don't have to be thin to be a successful model. We are only thinking of fashion modeling. Yes, it's important. But there are many models we consider plus size and these models are more typical for the average person. Finally, you don't have to have a college degree, but I encourage you all to get a degree. A model's career can be short and if you will have another set of skills to fall back on. Okay. So from the box saying a model, which ones do you have to have to be successful? Clean skin. Yeah. To have clear skin. Yes, clear skin. Do you want me to read it again? Yes. Yes. Okay. Help me to get rid of my pointer. All right. First, I want to thank your teacher, Ms. Press, for letting me talk to you today about being a model. Now, there are different types of models. For example, there are fashion models and print models. For any type of modeling, you need to have clear skin and healthy hair. You have to look healthy, but you don't have to be thin to be successful models. If we only think of fashion modeling, yes, it is important. But there are many models that we consider plus size and these models are more typical of the average person. Finally, you don't have to have a college degree, but I encourage you all to get a degree. A model's career can be short and you will want to have another set of skills to fall back on. Okay. Did you catch any more? Healthy hair. Healthy hair, yes. Healthy hair, yeah. Any more? No. No. The rest are necessary. Good. Okay. So, hi, Tay. <laughs> Hello, Tay. All right. <laughs> Let me uh, put you on my register. Okay. So, next one, concierge. Oh, two pages. Oh, I have a line missing. Okay, and um, there's a little, maybe one line missing from my transcript. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Hi everyone, I'm a concierge. I work at a hotel and I help guests. I make travel arrangements, give advice on local restaurants, deliver messages, that kind of thing. So if you're interested in the career in concierge, what skills do you need to have? Well, you need to be friendly, no one wants to talk to an unfriendly concierge. Also, you have to know the area around the hotel or city. Missing line. You usually have to work late at night. That's another thing I like about the job, the hours. We mostly work during the day. That's when our guests need us the most. Finally, you need to notice I'm wearing a uniform. You have to wear a uniform, of course. But if you don't want to wear a uniform at your job, this isn't the job for you. Okay, did you catch any? To be friendly. To be friendly. To know the area. To know the area. The area. Good. To wear a uniform. Yes. And wear a uniform. Yeah, well done. Good job. Okay, architect. Hello. 
Hello. From what I'm wearing, can anyone guess what my job is? No? Well, I'm an architect. There are lots of things that necessary. Sorry. There are a lot of things that are necessary if you want to be an architect. We design buildings, so many people think we don't need to know about interior design. Not true. We do. And another thing we need to be good at is math. So if you want to be an architect, keep taking those algebra and geometry classes. You also have to be able to work on a team. We work with all kinds of people. Some think architects spend all their time alone. And again, this is not true. That's what I like about my job, working with others. Now an architect needs to have a lot of education. Yes, you need a license. It's necessary since architects have to design safe buildings for people to live and work in. Okay. To be good at math. Yeah. Trying to get my pointer to come down there. Eh? Good at math. You know, you know, interior design. Yeah, interior design. Have to a license. Have, have a license. license. Yeah, good job. Well done. Good. Okay, so the next part was one thing each person likes about his or her job. Can anybody remember? I remember the concierge saying something about hours. No? Okay. I will I can't hmm? read. Hmm? I, can't uh, read. Read. <laughs> yeah. I will read all three again and I won't ask for the answers until the very end. Okay? So listen to all three. Make a note of your answers or remember. So let's close that section. I need to get rid of those things like the arrows so I can see. Okay. So number one. First, I want to thank your teacher, Ms. Press, for letting me talk to you today about being a model. Now, there are different types of models. For example, there are fashion models and print models. For any type of modeling, you need to have clear skin and healthy hair. You have to look healthy but you don't have to be thin or successful to be a model. So you don't have to be thin to be a successful model. If we only think of fashion modeling, yes, it's important. But there are many models that we consider plus size and these models are more typical for the average person. Finally, you don't have to have a college degree, but I encourage you all to get the degree. The model's career can be short and you'll want to have another set of skills to fall back on. Two, concierge. Hi everyone, I'm a concierge. I work at a hotel and help guests. I make travel arrangements, give advice on local restaurants, deliver messages, that kind of thing. So if you're interested in a career in concierge, what skills do you need to have? Well, you need to be friendly. No one wants to talk to an unfriendly concierge. Also, you have to know the area around the hotel or city. You, usually I have to work late at night. That's another thing I like about the job, the hours. We mostly work during the day. That's when our guests need us the most. Finally, you will notice I'm wearing a uniform. You have to wear a uniform, of course. So if you don't want to wear a uniform at your job, this isn't a job for you. Three, hello. From what I am wearing, can anyone guess what my job is? No? Well, I'm an architect. There are lots of things that are necessary if you want to be an architect. We design buildings, so many people think we don't need to know about interior design. Not true, we do. And another thing we need to be good at is math. So if you want to be an architect, keep taking those algebra and geometry classes. You also have to be able to work on a team. We work with all kinds of people. Some think architects spend all their time alone. And again, this is not true. That's what I like about my job, working with others. Now, 
An architect needs a lot of education and yes, you need a license. It's necessary since architects have to design safe buildings for people to live and work in. Okay, anybody manage to get anything? Yes. Okay. Okay, Mint, tell me one that you heard. Uh, Korea, anything. I can. For any of the, the three jobs, something they said they liked about their job. Okay, maybe we tie. Don't know? Mm, don't have to be then to be successful. Yeah, that's one. Can move? Can you tell us another? No. <laughs> Ted, can you tell us another? Oh, you have no microphone. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so for the model, she did mention about you don't have to be thin to be successful, but the there was no sentence saying, I like, that's what I like, yeah? For the concierge, he did say, and my mother, I, that's another thing I like about the job, D -d -d -d. The hours. Yeah, the hours. And in the next one, the architect. <laughs> so slow today. Okay, then we. Where is it going? Ah, that's what I like about my job. Working with other. Yeah. Good. All right. <laughs> Can you see the transcript? Does it change the page for you? Yes. Yeah. Good. All right. Good. So that would be the unit 14 finished. If we have time, we can come back and finish doing the section at the bottom because we only had Bar and Min speak last time. But now we will go on to section unit 15 for today. I travel for free. Okay, so have a look. And as it says, if you think something is positive or negative, you write the letter. And then we will discuss. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. So I will say the sentence and you tell me if you have positive or negative. Travels for free. Positive. Yeah. Okay. Can somebody give me a reason? Why because it's for free. Okay. It's free. <laughs> yeah, so you're saving money. Yes, works, on, yeah. uh -huh. works on uh -huh. the weekends. Negative. Everybody negative? negative? I think positive. 
Okay, and reason? On weekend, you have to work. Oh, sorry. And mint? Because I think it's have a lot of time to make, to do. Okay, then? Um, why we have to work on weekends? Is our free time not to work, not time to work? That depends. And um, for example, if you work in a language school full time, yeah. you have to work the weekend yeah. and you get time off during the week because most of the students will come when they are not working. So mm. they come in the evening or they come in the weekend. So it can depend on your job. But I agree, if you work all week, then yes. The weekends are nice to have free. <laughs> Kimuk, anything to add? No. <laughs> You're just saying one word today. No. <laughs> Te? Oh, no, I just think it's positive because you can, can go everywhere for free. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and next one, makes good money. Positive. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I will comment, in Saudi Arabia, I made very good money, but I was basically on call all the time. My hours would change sometimes, and I always had to check they might not need me before I went out with friends. And my sister used to have a job where she earned very, very good money in England. And again, it was the same for her. So often when you earn very good money, you have to be a lot more flexible and give a lot more time. So that can be one negative for makes good money. Right, uh, Kimuk, tell me a positive. Ah, no sound. No. <laughs> Okay, Kimuk, maybe log out and come back. That sometimes helps. Okay, Te? Positive or makes good money? Because um, positive. I think if when you have a uh, when you have more money, you can do uh, more things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bank. You can no, no. when you have a good money, you can earn a lot of money. Okay. Uh, mint. I think when I will have accident, I will have money to use spend yeah. it. Yeah. It's good to know you have money and not have to worry about paying rent pay bill, buy food. <laughs> like at the moment, a lot of people have this problem. So they are very, very stressed <laughs> and very, very worried. Well, I'm just trying to <laughs> arrange my pictures so I can see everybody. And um, we can we test your sound? No sound. Good, thank you. <laughs> all right, all right. And um, gets long vacations, so a lot of holiday time. Positive. Positive. Really yeah. positive. Can be negative too. Okay. And um, Mint, tell me a reason.
So why is it a positive but long vacation? Mint? Okay, my reason is have a time to do many things at home. Good, good too, yeah. Ben? Um, in my opinion, I think it's good to spend like a time for family, but I think in negative is you have to spend your money when you have a long trip or a long holiday. Yeah, true. Okay. I think uh, when I get long vacation, I can uh, I can do everything. Uh, I and I have time, but I I need money too. That is true. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Oh, I think positive because uh, I have. Free time and I can live with family. Okay, and fun. Yeah, for me, I can spend time with my family and can save a lot of money, but it's not good for my business. Yes, the side is not good for my business. Yeah, that is true. When I had my own therapy business, um, mm -hmm. if I wanted to take a two week holiday. Yeah. There was times I would lose a client. So mm -hmm. you can lose a client in two weeks, but take you two months to get a new one. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's tricky. Okay. Mm -hmm. And stands all day. So standing up all day. Negative. 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 Okay, so far, reason. Negative. Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, I'm too old to stand all day. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> okay, it's tiring, yeah? Yeah. Um, oh, negative because... Uh, <laughs> uh, hurt. It hurts, yeah? Okay. Uh, negative. <laughs> because... Because it's uh, it very tight. Yeah, and then boring to stand all day, and you cannot you cannot do anything you want. Only stand. Yeah, but stand all day doesn't mean stand in one spot. Yeah, like but you like have to walk or do something. It's boring to stand. Yeah. Okay. A minute. First of all, I think I will walking. When I start stand all day and my leg is tired. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it actually can cause different medical conditions. It can cause something called that. What's that right? Bell, bell cause veins. You know when you get those great big blue lines on your legs, it's like a big lump. It can cause this because it is affecting circulation for people who stand in one place most of their day. It can cause knee problems, hip problems, back problems. So I don't know about Thailand, but I know in England, if you are in a job where you stand all day, especially mm -hmm. in one area, you have to have a certified mat to stand on to mm -hmm. help reduce the um, the risks and you have to have more regular breaks to be able to move around or go and sit mm -hmm. down mm -hmm. and i did a, um, a seasonal vacation working vacation new zealand so i did fruit picking and worked in factories when i traveled in a factory i worked in they also had those standards mm -hmm. and but i don't know if they do that in thailand anybody heard of this no i don't know okay fair enough yeah i suppose yeah, no, if you sorry. don't know anybody who works in a factory or 
maybe a kitchen they can't have the mat but they might have to have the breaks and move it around yeah some of my friend uh he work with supermarket and he have no chair to sit just stand and work it's okay. like a company rule yeah. to stand and work yeah mm. Okay, so the last one doesn't need a car. Positive. Positive. Okay, and mint? Positive. Okay. For me, positive and negative. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Both. Because Sometimes we need to go very far, like a countryside or somewhere very far, we need a car. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. But if they have a train or bus, we can take that too. Don't need to use the car. Okay, Kamuk. Oh. <laughs> what? 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 Uh, because because positive because it's safe and I can drive a car. Yeah. Okay. Positive, I think. Positive and negative. Uh, in positive, I think in uh, it's safe money. Yeah, you uh, you don't to fix fix because I do. You don't 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 to use the fixed cost uh, when you maintenance and the negative negative when you you want to go far away you cannot. Yeah, yeah. So don't forget this is your know, job. Yeah, not just life. Uh, bank. Um, as positive and negative. Positive is you can save your petrol. Uh, negative is when you go far away, like um, five kilos home to work, you have to use a car or use a train or public service. Yeah, good. And um, you said five kilos. Kilos. Uh, kilometers. <laughs> yeah. Kilometers. Right. Good. Uh, mint? Positive uh, is saving money. And you. Car. You and I don't ride a car by myself. Ah, but okay. negative is when negative is not convenient to go somewhere when I want to go. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Good. Well done. Yeah. And it's also if the job requires a car it may mean that some people who would be good for the job can't because they don't have a car or they can't drive all right yeah awesome so conversation okay so who wants to be i'm trying to look for the man's name me? What's his name? Mm. We only have the girl's name. Hello. Okay, who wants to be the man? <laughs> Me? Okay, Bank. And who wants to be the girl? Ron, the man is Bill Smith. <laughs> to be Bill Smith. <laughs> Bill Smith and Lady Gaga. <laughs> okay, who's going to be Lady Gaga? <laughs> Kimuk, can you read the lady section? Okay. Okay. Hi. All right, back. Up you go. Okay. Hi, Keiko. Are you are you enjoying your new job? Yeah. So far, so good. I get to meet lots of interesting people. You are concert, con, con concierge, concierge, right? Yes, I work for the new hotel downtown. Do you get to use your language skill? 
I do. I use both my French and English. And how's the salary? Well, I'm still in training, but I will get a raise when I'm done. Good. Well done. Oh, with my point again. Okay, and just be careful. How's the salary? And how's the salary? Slide. Good, better. I know it, it can be a tricky word for um, many Thai people. Salary. 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 Yeah, good, well done. Okay, so what is Keiko's job? Concierge. 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 Yes, a hard word. Concierge. And does she like her job? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why? Yes, what does she like about it? Um, I get to meet. I get to meet lots, lots of, of interesting, interesting people. people. Yeah, lots of interesting people. A language practice in her language, and yes. it sounds like she'll be excited when she gets her her um, pay rise. Pay yeah. rise when she's finished training. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna use the describing pros and cons for our next discussion. Okay, so I want everyone to choose. I have five people again. So there's four. I'm gonna add one more. What job shall we add? Doctor? Okay. A doctor. Okay, so everybody choose a job. Tell me, what do you want? A model. Doctor. Doctor? Why attendant? Okay. Chief. Okay. Film director. Okay. All right. So take a minute and think of the pros and cons for that job. All right. And then we will come back and discuss. You can use the examples in the, the blue and the green box. Will also try to think of your own reasons. Okay, 30 seconds. Okay, let's stop there. Who wants to go first? Tay, I think you're a dog and nominated you. <laughs> okay. Tay, tell us your pros and cons of the job. The pros is know something new, no, no something new, freestyle work and travel, uh, meet a lot of people and 
learn learn to answer culture and cons uh, is uh, maybe losing money photography mm. no I, I think then no no feel feeling tired and get get bad critic and dangerous engineer no <laughs> Walker. Yeah, that is okay. right. <laughs> good, all right, good job. And who wants to go next? No? Come on. Okay. Okay, okay. Pa. Pa, you okay. found here? I get food for free. I don't need to pay anything. And when I do my work, oh, how to explain? Uh, I don't meet many people when I work and I can taste many kinds of different of food and I don't stand all day but when I cook it's very hot temperature have a lot of oil or make Chef. 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 Yeah. Chef. Right. <laughs> no. Okay, Kamuk. The bro is uh get to help a lot of people and have a good salary. The cons is I don't have free time. Work hard and don't get much vacation. Doctor. 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 Yes. Good. Okay. And uh, mint. Okay. Palm is meet a lot of people and towel many country. And corn is not enough to sleep and don't have time to to meet family. Mm -hmm. A hostess. Yeah. Yes. Flight attendant, yes. Yeah. Flight Air attendant. hostess, flight attendant, same. Yeah. Good. And back. Oh, you have no microphone. <laughs> um, the pro. I have to feed the animals. Um, and I have to help them when them when they have a, um when they get a trouble um cause i don't have my free times zookeeper yeah <laughs> good all right good job what else do we have i don't remember teacher i have a question yes uh, sometimes I a little bit confused when we use bored and boring. Bored and boring? Yeah. Yeah, and um, bored is usually like I am bored, I am tired. Boring. So anything. your feeling, boring mm -hmm. is usually an action or describing something. So this book is boring, this movie is boring, mm -hmm. or going for a walk is boring. So boring is often in context with an object and bored for, is more in context with the subject. For example, if we stay home for a long, long time, can't go out, we use I get bored or I get boring. And in the way you said it, I get bored because you're saying about you first, you're saying about mm -hmm. the subject first. 
-hmm. If you wanted to use for a ring, you would use the object first. So staying at home is boring. Mm. But when you say I, when I stay at home for a very long time, which is the subject focus, you use mm -hmm. bored. Mm -hmm. That okay? Okay, thank you. All right. All right, um, let's see. Do I have the transcript for the jobs? Okay, I do, but I don't want you to see it. So I'm gonna stop my share. Uh, first, oh, wrong one, <laughs> wrong page, 15. So take a note of those different jobs. For number one, when I read it, because I'm going to take this away, so you can't see what I'm reading. Okay? Mm -hmm. So make a note of those different jobs for each of the four, and then you'll have to guess which job I am talking about. Okay. So tell me when you're done, and I'll turn off the share. But also, when you listen, you need to make a note of something that person likes and doesn't like about the job. Okay, so you're listening for the, the job, mm. a like, and a don't like for each four. Okay. All right, you ready? Yeah. No? Yes. Oh, I got a no. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. All right, okay. Uh, lesson 15. Oh, why isn't it moving? Okay, so um, let me close. Okay. All right, so number one, I thought I would enjoy the job when I first started. I don't really like working at night, but I didn't have a choice since I'm one of the new guys. At first, I was worried about sitting down all day, and I didn't know the city very well. Luckily, with GPS, it's very easy to take people where they want to go. Most of my trips are short distances or to the airport. Some of the people I drive are really interesting. A taxi driver. Taxi driver. Yeah, good. Taxi. So something he likes. He no, like and he don't like. <laughs> sometimes he likes some, but he don't like to drive in the night time. Mm -hmm. He like to say people. Try to meet the interesting people. interesting people. That's it. Well done. Good. Okay. So number two. I really like my job because I've always loved food. I'm learning a lot about how to make some really great dishes in the kitchen and we get great food for free. A chef. That's the best thing. Chef. <laughs> chef. Okay. I can get really, oh, sorry. It can get really stressful at times, but the atmosphere is nice here. And I'm working with a great group of people. He really like his job because he get food for free. Yes. He love food, make a lot of food. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it, do it doesn't like. Nothing. Can get very stressful. Yes. Good. Well done. Can get very stressful. All right. Three. It's kind of a fun job if you enjoy selling things. We have a great range of stuff in the store, and I love seeing all the latest designs when they come in. 
However, I wish I had a different boss. This guy is always bothering me to try and get people to buy things. I prefer to let customers take their time. No one wants to feel pressured, you know. At sales. At sales yeah. plus. Yeah. Yes. One thing they like. She like to sell. I, know. I love seeing all the latest designs when they come in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, what about a, a thing they don't like? To push people to sell. Yeah. Or their boss. <laughs> Good. Okay, four. I've always enjoyed working in a place like this. It's really popular with kids. They love to come and look at what we have. They always want to pick them up and play with them. So it's kind of fun. Especially the baby ones. I love playing with them too. The only thing I don't like is that it takes me about two hours to get here. I really should move and live closer to my work. And our teachers. Could be. A store minister. Because, because they work with children. They do, but it says, um, really popular with kids they love to come and look at what we have a pet they store always manager? want to pick them up oh can a be pet, a, pet, a pet store manager a pet store manager yeah i think pet store yeah good job oh, it's your yeah okay so one thing they like me the children me mm. children yeah and something like they it. don't like Take two hours, Take two hours, Take two hours to, to get, get, to, to, get shop, there. to get office, yeah. to get the shop. Yeah. Do we know the the one word that describes traveling a distance to your workplace? Um, what happened? No. Com no? Commute. 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 Yeah. C O N N U T E, commute. Can you spell it again? Yeah, so C O N N U T E, commute, when you have to travel a distance commute. to your workplace. Commute. Yeah. All right. Commute. Does anybody here? when they can go to work does anybody have to commute i know when i get to go back to school i don't have to commute it is only a short distance if i was to go into the language school i would need to commute it is two buses <laughs> Does anybody, would they travel far to their school or their workplace? No. No? I commute to work my car. Your car? Yes. So how long would it take you to get to work? About one hour. I would say that's but, a commute. <laughs> oh, sorry. I think that is a I think that is a long time to travel to work. So I would say that would be a commute. Yeah. Uh, Te? It's a short. Short, yeah. Short time, short, short way to go. Yeah. Okay. Can we? No. Do you have to travel far to school or is it close? Uh, 
30 minutes. I'm sorry? I'm sorry. 30 minutes to, to school. Okay, that's not too bad. Kind of in the middle. And back? Um, I take about 45 minutes. Okay, that's not too bad. It's, it's getting slightly to commuting. Yeah. And far? Mm, no, not far. I... Yes? Because it has like a mini traffic. Yeah, uh, not many, yeah. much. Much traffic. Yeah. And yeah. bad bad people who drive bad really people? bad. Yeah, who drive oh. really bad. Ah, uh, bad drivers. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Bad? I drive 15 minutes to my okay. office. That's quite short. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. So we have a few more minutes left. I did say we can go back to Monday. We had Fa and Mint do the discussion about starting a clothing business. Yeah. yeah. So I want to try with two different people. Okay. Having a conversation about starting a business. So we had the business of Comic book store, internet gallery, uh, internet gallery, uh, internet cafe, or mm -hmm. art gallery. Okay, so Mint and Fa, you just listen to that um, this time. Okay. So we have Tay, Kamuk, and Bank. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, we'll try all three of you. So, which business do you want to choose? Um, last time, I'm choose Art Gallery. Okay. Comic book store. Okay. So, let's try. So, Tay, you have bookstore, Kamut Internet Gallery, uh, Internet Cafe, and Bank Art Gallery. Let's have a conversation. Is there a way you can? Merge, put all three businesses together. Okay, so try speaking to each other. We only have about three minutes. <laughs> Go first. Okay, I mean, uh, I think in in my business, uh, I would need a room, some some place. Uh, and would need many comic book and have some money to for foreign foreign paid or or buy uh, and I think uh, I need uh, a computer okay yeah you agree it yeah I agree. Uh, I think you have to put some picture or sculpture or um, art equipment for the children or people who want to study artists, to be artists, to be a professional or who want to have a job for the art. How about you, Kaimuk? Oh, it's a good idea. And I think to have an internet cafe near the comic book store because yeah. Uh, you can sit and eat, cup, eat, drink, and you can read a comic book. Yeah. In. And. Could we have a web page or poster or brochure for our. Uh, our business. Do you agree for it? Yes. Okay and. I think we have a poster and we have to put our picture like a um, coffee shop, internet shop, comics books or um, painting, paint picture or sculpture or anything. Mm -hmm. And the customer can buy our comic book and our picture. And then we have a free Wi-Fi for work, for study or for their business, so. Okay, it's, uh, uh, yeah, I think it's a great idea. It's 
look like a, a space, a, a space room. Yeah. Of, mm. For everyone to communicate. Yeah. Or not, it's just conversation too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Great. Okay, one more minute. Um, how much money we have to use to make this business? How much money? Uh, and be ten thousand or okay. fifty thousand. We have to buy a computer or comic book or equipment or Wi Fi. Oh. You agree for it? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's try. Make our business. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, Thank well you. done. Okay. Did anyone pick up something they heard that they liked or they want to comment on? Think of the use of English or vocabulary. Mm. Maybe they want to change or suggest, or you really liked how they said that. Yeah. Mm. Hey, well, I heard a lot of great examples of good English, and I only wrote down the odd word. <laughs> I, I thought I remembered the sentence. Um, but there was a few little tweaks, yeah. again, to the ends of sentences, where you have the correct meaning, you have yeah. the right context, so people will understand. Yeah. But to make the English sound a little bit better. And one example was when the bank you were saying about when a professional wants to have a job for art. Yeah. Okay. And this is something people would understand, but it'd be like, it sounds a bit odd a little bit strange so often people say and um, when someone wants to be a professional artist someone wants to work in art so it'll be like a separate okay yeah no mm -hmm. together okay okay yeah yeah and yeah that was the main one there was just a few little odd words which again comes up when you're being spontaneous. But yeah, great job. Thank you. Good. All right. Yeah. And that is it for today. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see you on Monday. See you next yeah. week.